Hello everyone, my name is Mauro Pelosi and I'm CEO and co-founder of Radio Maze, making the world a safer place. Actually, we turn your Wi-Fi into a home security system just by software and you don't need to buy any sensors and any hardware. And that is why Singularity University called us to solve the, ground, the global grand challenge of security. But first, let me tell you how we first got here, you know. There we were, two professors on the way to teach hunting for wars, and we published books, patents, hundreds of scientific publications. We, more than, we won more than 20 innovation awards, but the best was yet to come. In fact, one cold, cold night in Finland, we found out actually our uh, Wi-Fi test equipment was picking up some strange disturbances. After some investigation, we found out it was just a student uh, working late at night, passing through the lab. So, we found out that actually the human body disrupts the Wi-Fi. But this is not a problem, this is an opportunity. In fact, the human body is mostly made of water, 70%, and we absorb, reflect, and scatter radio waves in every direction. It's like when you put a stone in a pool of water and there are ripples. We can see those ripples, even if they are invisible. Wi-Fi is everywhere, actually, and that is why you don't need to buy any more a uh, home security plan for $30 per month for ADT or some other legacy players for something that you already have. And this is why we can provide to you home security, leveraging the existing infrastructure, just 10 times cheaper. Then there's another interesting thing that interest providers, telecom company and operators are already gathering a lot of data from your homes for diagnostics. But on top of that, there is also knowledge about the motion of people around. What we do is to turn digital waste into actionable insight. So I will show you a little demo about how our analytics engine works. And from the physical perspective, what happens to receive a strength of the power of the router that every second is sent in your home? This is an experiment we have been running uh, at Singularity University Labs, where my co-founder Frank is just moving around, and we can see there that actually the receiver's signal strength is affected by the human motion. If we want to go here to interpret the results, we can see actually that the receiver's signal strength is very noisy, and this is why nobody has ever seen something out of it. But we have been able to crack the code, we have patented this algorithm two years ago, and actually we can see the signal hidden in the noise. And we can see there that when nobody's in the room and when somebody's in the room, this is affecting the way the signal is propagating. But then, what is the importance of motion detection? You can get analytics and notification escalating in parallel so that at least one person can help you, can be your neighbors, can be your friends, your family members, can go and check because the one thing you don't want to do is to have a security system that does not have additional steps on top of that. One thing is to have knowledge of what is going on, one thing is to take action. But then, we have made a beta testing in 100 homes, and the users are keeping to tell us that there are some insights we didn't expect. Because when you have a home security system like that, in your Wi-Fi router, actually, you can start to make 24-7 monitoring. And what happens if you start to monitor your home also over one month. Have you been uh, sleeping more and more and moving less and less? Maybe something is going on, actually. So they call it a Fitbit for the home. Then, we know that uh, Wi-Fi is everywhere, and we will go from 500 million Wi-Fi devices in the US alone to 24 billion Wi-Fi devices by 2020, an average of 13 Wi-Fi devices per household. And today, the average is eight. And with one motion detector, we turn that, we can uh, have uh, motion information. With multiple Wi-Fi devices like smart fridge, smart oven, smart TV, we can even have room level accuracy and to trigger potential new insight for home automation and Internet of Things. Then, this is something that has already happened in the past, actually. Take Uber, you know, they don't own any car, they have disrupted the taxi fleets, actually. Take Airbnb, they don't know the houses, you know, and they've disrupted hotel chains. Same for Amazon, the same for Skype. We are doing the same for motion sensors and for home security systems. So we don't need to own the infrastructure because accessing is better than possessing for us. Now, what is our business model? It's very, very simple. We have end users, they live at home. 
there are already some service providers, like uh, telecom operators, telcos, and the uh, Internet of Things uh, companies. And then they gather data and they send to our cloud where we make the insight. We provide back to them this insight, taking what they already have and to deliver an additional service to them. And we just have a cut on a revenue sharing base with a security as a service business model from the first market vertical. Then actually, what is our timeline actually? We have completed already our beta testing. We are making a pilot with uh, a major player in the era in early 2016, and we are ready for product launch at the last quarter of 2016, where we will scale to other verticals, because the core of this is that you can apply these analytics uh, to many different verticals. Then, what happens here? We have a dream team. Me and my co-founder Frank, actually, that demonstrated that actually I can make money even by sleeping, because this morning, we won the award and was leaving, actually. <laughs> so we actually have both PhD in wireless communication. We sold 12 patents to Intel. And most probably, if your smartphone doesn't work, it's my fault because I didn't make the transceiver correctly. And uh, we had experts in the field. We have uh, experts in R&D, in data science, machine learning, and uh, full stack development. And we have experts in these verticals from business development, to finance and uh, with the telecom operators. But then, there is another thing here, is that we also won the CS award the last January as the best product of the year in the software category. And again, as uh, Pascal mentioned, we won also the best European uh, award as a, a smart home startup in Helsinki uh, this morning. But then, you know, this is the time to join us because uh, if you feel like that you are exponential investors and you have a smart network and if you want to protect the world and if you want to make some big money in the process, please come to talk to us. Thank you so much for your attention.